Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for your life to turn around? Are you ready for things to happen to bring you great success, to see your dreams and visions come to pass? Then you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast. Welcome. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave us a good review. Also, let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show. Good morning, everybody. It's Julie Tussie. Thank you for popping in and listening to the Julie Tussie Show. Um, I wanted to share with you before I started today, I'm going to share about being empowered, being empowered by the Holy Spirit. I am out on my deck. You can hear, I'm sure, some building going on and birds singing and the air conditioner running, which will probably turn off because it's beautiful out today. But I wanted to share that my precious little Italian mama passed, um, she passed a week ago and so we've had a lot on our plates. We're wrapping everything up and it was a glorious, beautiful, beautiful funeral. She looked beautiful. The flowers were beautiful. There were so many people that turned out to say goodbye to her that they were in the overflow room watching it on television. and. More than that, the Holy Spirit was there. I might on one podcast share um, a little bit more about that, but I just wanted to let you know that. And I wanted to say thank you to everyone who prayed for us, everyone who prayed for my mom, everyone who sent their condolences and brought food and did the things. It's It was glorious, you guys. It is, you know, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I know when someone leaves our lives, it's hard to remember that, but she is dancing in glory. She has run her race, and she finished her race, and she is with Jesus, so I'm very happy about that. All right, today I want to talk to you about being empowered um, by the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with Him. This is amplified. Draw your strength from Him, that strength which His boundless might provides. Be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with Him. Draw your strength from Him, the strength that is, that is His boundless might that is providing it. His boundless might. It's providing it. Um, Most of the things that are truly worth doing in life are never easy. How many can say amen to that? We are, we always struggle seemingly (laughs) for the things that are worth it. You know, the things that are worth it. So most of the things that are truly worth doing are never easy. But we're not spirit, we're not spirit filled or filled with the spirit of God to do easy things. He If it was easy, we wouldn't need the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit is here present with us now. Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father and coming again. Father God, of course, is Father God. But he sent the Holy Spirit to guide us, lead us, comfort us. And I love that Ephesians 6, uh, 10 says, Be strong in the Lord. Not not in your education. Don't be strong in your knowledge. Don't be strong in your job. Of course we're strong in all those things. But, but in other words, we don't draw our strength from those things. But we are empowered with through our union with Him. Our union with Him. So most of the things that are truly worth doing are never easy. And we aren't, spil- we aren't spirit-filled or spilled. <laughs> Yes, it's early and I'm having coffee outside. (laughs) We are not filled with the Spirit of God to do easy things, but to do the hard things. He fills us with the Spirit so we can do impossible things. Oh my gosh, I thought it was impossible considering all we went through to get my mom that that I would get her in the end, but I had to stand and pray in the Spirit and stand in the Holy Spirit and He comforted me and guided me and led me and helped me. (laughs) Mm. He's so good and faithful and He'll do the same for you. 
God doesn't God doesn't want us to do whatever is possible. If we can just do it, if we can just like I can get in my car and I can go to the grocery store and I can go fill my cart with food and I can go check out and pay for it and I don't need I don't need God to do that. Do you know what I mean? Of course he's the one that's provided and that's not my point. But in other words, I of my own self will and my own ability can go and do those things. But if I have a friend who is fighting cancer or I have a call to reach the world and I only have two partners <laughs> ever been there yep um, if I if I'm called to start an orphanage or adopt a child or start a business whatever it is that God has before you that seems impossible for all things are possible with God. They're impossible with man, but they're possible with God. That's when I need him. And that's when he is glorified. When I actually will step out and say, okay, God, and you guys, I've told you this before in other podcasts, if you're new, welcome. But I would always, before I would step on the stage, the platform, the pulpit area, whatever, whatever God opened for me to sing, and minister, I would always say, and I still do, God, it's you or bust. Because I am, I'm an extrovert, but I am an introvert also. And I struggled and struggled and struggled with severe, I mean, we're talking want to throw up while I'm standing there, shaking in my boots and my high heels and trembling and having to learn vocal control even though my body wanted to tremble. Um, anxiety and fear would just, just grab me. I was so afraid to be in front of people. And I started standing in front of people at the age of nine, was born again at the age of 12, called to the ministry at age, at the age 17. And now I've been in the ministry for 43 years. And yes, now you know my age if you do math well. And still to this day, I will deal. I don't just get up and go calmly in front of people. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, hey, come on over and sit in my couch, on my couch. It's not like that for me. So that was an impossible situation for me. And I would say, God, I'm willing to obey you. You're asking this of me. I'm going to do this. I'm scared to do it, but everything within me knows you want me to do it, and I would step out. Is it easier now? Yes. But do I still have to rely on him every step of the way? Yes. I have to. So he has given me the Holy Spirit, and I would pray in the Holy Spirit. I would pray and and walk the floors and worship him and praise him and pray and prepare myself and get out there, and then it was him or bust. That's where God has glorified you all, in that place where you cannot provide for yourself. You cannot accomplish in yourself. That is why we have the Holy Spirit. Because God, I'm telling you, anyone who is successful and does something great with their life, they're not afraid to take risks. I said it. I said it. I know no one wants to hear that. They're not afraid to take risks. Mm. Have some good coffee today. You have to take the risk in obeying the Holy Ghost to fulfill your purpose and destiny in the kingdom of God. You have to. You have to. That you. If you don't, you will be mundane and average mundane and average. I want God to give me dreams so big that there's no way on God's green earth I could fulfill it without him. I can't. I can't. And I can and let me just step back a second and say that the Holy Spirit is also there for you if you have gone through traumatic, terrible situations. You've been abused. You've been a victim. You've been uh, hurt. You've been stolen from. You've been lied to. You've gone through maybe what I've gone through with my mom for the last three years and where someone kept her away from us. And I know they, I, I just believe with all my heart, they were hurting her. And and there's evidence of finances being gone. And everywhere you turn, the powers that be are against you for some reason and not ruling according to justice. Maybe you're in that kind of situation. And I want to say that the Holy Spirit will empower you 
to step out of that. And that's where I'm walking right now. I literally could be in my bed crying out to God all day long every day because of the injustice that I am facing and having to decide what to do about because of the all of it. Just because of all of it. Depression, anxiety, all the things that try to come. Fear, um, anger, all of the things that try to come. So not only is this, not only are we empowered by the Holy Spirit through our union with him, but we are to draw our strength. I am drawing my strength from him. I am sitting here doing a podcast in his strength, his in his, what did it say in the Amplified? That strength which is his boundless, which his boundless might provides. He is unlimited. That's why we call our television show Limitless, Limitless Live. Limitless. He is not limited. He is not limited by my physical body. He is not limited by my mental state. He is not limited. He's God. He is God. So who better to turn all of that around in our lives and empower us to go forward? So most of the things that are truly worth doing aren't easy. It is not easy. It has not been easy for me for three years to get my off my um, bed out of my head and to let the Holy Spirit move in my life. And have I gone forward the way I would have in the last three years? No. But have I gone backwards? Have I stopped? Have I, um, have I gone a little bit? I have not gone backwards. I have not stopped and I have gone forward. And is it going to get better now? The weight is being lifted. It's going to be better now. So see, I'm encouraging myself as much as you in this. Most of the things that are truly worth doing and one of the things that's worth doing is getting out of that bed, shaking off that depression, taking the medicine, doing the exercise, praying the prayers, doing the things that you need to do to be what? All he called you to be, to be all he created you to be, and to do all he created you to do. That is what we've got to do, you all. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we have to do because there is so much more important things going around on in the world. So much. There's so many people that you are supposed to affect. Your family, your friends, your community, your whatever God opens for you to the world. We are called to the ministry of reconciliation, not to our own self-serving lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not to our own self-serving lives. No. We are spiritual beings. We live in a body and we have a soul. But we are a spirit and we are here for a purpose. And we will be empowered through our union with the Holy Spirit. If you want to develop your potential and succeed at being all you can be, keep your eyes on the prize and press toward the mark of the high calling. It's not easy, but it's so worthwhile. If if you want to develop your potential, I, how many want to? I do. Email me and tell me what you want. What do you see in the Holy Ghost? I love to hear from you. Gary and Julie, I'm sorry, the Julie Tussie Show at Gmail. Um, but you got to keep your eyes on the prize. That is the one thing I think that has been an anchor for me is keeping my eyes on the Lord and the thing that he has called me to through the worst, worst thing I have ever gone through in my life. Now, most of those who blame everyone and everything for their failures had potential. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm reading uh, these, these notes out of the Confident Woman devotional by Joyce Meyer. Mm. Love, love, love her. I'm so fed by this. I'm so fed by this devotional. So most of those who blame everyone and everything for their failures had potential. Past tense, honey. Past tense. But either did not know how to develop it or were unwilling to meet its requirements. When things don't work out in our lives, it is not God's fault, really. It isn't really circumstances or other people who are to blame because if God is on our side, they are not mightier than he is. That's Romans 8, 31. 
So the truth is when things don't work out for us, it's because we have not obeyed God. We haven't answered the call. We haven't paid the price. We've not pressed on and been willing to take giant steps of faith. The world wants us to conform, but the Lord wants us to transform if we will do his things do things his way the world wants us to conform but the lord wants us to trans he wants to transform us he he wants to transform us and he will if we do things his way so today i want to encourage you soak in this scripture be strong in the lord be empowered through your union with him draw your strength from him that strength which his boundless might provides ephesians 6:10 Soak in that. Soak in that today and realize that everything going on around you, that there is an answer to be empowered. I love the word, anything to do with the word power. It it encourages me, excites me, feeds my soul, feeds my soul. And I love, I absolutely love to realize that I, within my own limited self, can tap into infinite power and might from the Lord. Power and might from the Lord. And so can you today. Well, I hope that blessed you. You guys keep me in prayer. And I'll keep you in prayer. And together as we take hands, as we pray for each other and lift each other up, we will become all that he created us to be. And we will do all that he created us to do. Um, I'm, I have some things stirring in my spirit. So please uh, set your notifications for subscribe. We've been doing an every other week podcast uh, for a while because of having to be in court 13 times in the last two years and <laughs> and all of the other things um actually got my mom for the last four and a half weeks if you didn't know that i had her for four and a half weeks in my home she came into my home with hospice care and it was a full-time job and i would never trade a minute not one minute <laughs> of that time with her it was glorious and it was beautiful and now she's gone to be with the lord and so i know that the there's going to be a change for us for our ministry and for me and the um julie tussie show and the grace girls there's going to be some changes i know there's going to be healing for a little while but the lord's already been stirring in my heart some things so there's going to be some exciting things coming up i just want to say thank you so much for supporting us and supporting this ministry but more than that for supporting me personally I know many of you have reached out and you've been praying for our family. And I just want to stand and declare and say that God's goodness never fails. Never fails. I love that C.C. Winans song and I would sing it over my mom. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. And all my days, they are held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up, until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life, you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life he has been faithful and he will continue to be. In all your life he is faithful to you and he will continue to hold you, to carry you, and to help you through. And I will continue to sing of his goodness and his mercy and his grace. And uh, I'm just going to pray for you right now. Father, I thank you for every person listening right now. 
Jesus, I just ask you to be so real to my sisters and my brothers. Right now, Father God, get in the middle of the mess. Get in the middle of the problem. Get in the middle of the fight with them. Jesus, rise up strong. We just send angels right now to encamp around about them, to keep them safe in all their ways, to open doors, to minister to them, to bring everything that they need in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we rise up as men and women of God, that we are not um, overcome, but that you are the overcomer in our lives, Lord. We thank you that you empower, empower, empower. Holy Spirit, empower them right now in a strong and tremendous way. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for complete and total victory, peace, health, joy, and prosperity to be in their lives, in their homes, and in their families and friends. In Jesus' mighty name. Well, until I talk to you guys next time, I love you so much. Thank you so much for listening to The Julie Tussie Show. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you are stirred up, fired up, and ready to run with all you have serving Jesus in 2023, being and doing everything he created you to be and do, and also remembering your call to greatness. Thanks so much for listening. I love you. Jesus loves you so, so much. And I want to remind you, you only get one fabulous, amazing, and awesome life. Live it to the fullest every day, my loves, with Jesus. Honey, you were not created to be ordinary, but you were created to be extraordinary. You were not created to be common, but you were created to be uncommon. You were not created to be average, but to be above average. You are remarkable. You are noteworthy. You are impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. Now, isn't that amazing? How many people tell you that? Only on the Julie Tussie Show. Hey, we're starting to get invites to go out and minister. If you'd like Gary and myself to come and minister, of course, we can do music, we can preach, we can teach, we can sing and be a blessing to your congregation. Just reach out to us here at the Julie Tussie Show, the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com. The Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Julie Tussie Show podcast are outreaches of The Voice Incorporated, a nonprofit ministry. If you would like to give an offering or become a monthly VIP voice impact partner, please download the Gary and Julie Tussie Ministries app or GJTM on your phone and go to giving. Remember, all gifts are tax deductible.